Hi everyone, welcome to another live today. I hope all of you are enjoying the heat today, the hot weather and the children, you guys must have just come back from school if you have your school right now and just want to say a quick hi to everyone. Uh, first of all, can you all hear me? If you can hear me, just say a quick hi. If you can hear my voice, I think so my voice is better today. You all can hear me now. Just say a quick hi if you can hear me. Hi, you can hear me then because you just said hi to me. And if you guys know that today video is about, I'm going to tell you five tips about getting started with your compre in your creative writing because creative writing is something which is very, very important in your stage two. If you are giving super selective schools like uh, Wilson or you're giving Hi, Maria. I can see you can see me. You can hear me. Sorry. So they are uh, this comp this creative writing is basically for the children who are giving super selective schools. And they, if they get selected, you will be a, you will be uh, you, you need to write a creative writing in your stage two. And my uh, my uh, five tips, if you follow that five tips, you will definitely write a really good creative writing in your stage two in super selective schools. So if you guys are ready, just tell me, I can share my screen. I have made a little PowerPoint for you all so that I could discuss my points with you. And in the end, there'll be a question answer time. I'll be giving you all two minutes to ask as many questions you want about creative writing and I will be able to answer them. And if you have recently joined me, I would like highly appreciate if you guys give us a full, give us the like the video before we, uh, we get started because your likes will encourage us that you are liking the videos. So if you guys are ready, I can start sharing my screen. Are you guys ready? I can't hear it. I can't see anyone telling me they're ready. If you guys are ready, I can start sharing my screen. Let's share my screen. And I can hide myself so you could just see the screen itself. Okay, let's get started. You're ready. Okay, so I'm going to tell you five simple tips to use in 11 plus stage two for St. Olive School or any other uh, grammar schools you're giving for super selective schools. Any of the schools, if you follow these five tips about creative writing, you will be, you will be able to get really good marks and I guarantee you your creative writing will stand out from others so get ready I have if you look at two pictures are here the first thing is when we get started like this what can you see I've I have definitely chosen these pictures because one of them is what you are experiencing today these days especially this week is about the hot weather and the second picture is which tells you about it's like doesn't look like it's hot weather but it's little cold and you're going out so let's get started now so uh, descriptive techniques these are some of the techniques which you all have to use in your creative writing looks like is like an iceberg if you look at the picture previously what we saw it was look like an iceberg second is smells like a milk chocolate these are some of the examples some of the techniques some of the words you all can use in your creative writing because remember hi seven hi josh hi to all of you so let's get started now if you look at these techniques, these are some of the things, some of the definite, some of the words which you should use in your creative writing. It's like, looks like that's an iceberg, smells like is a milk chocolate, feels like is a woolly socks, sounds like chattering, tastes like tea. So if you know that these are the things which I keep saying you all you should use in your creative writing are similes and metaphors Metaf similes are like uh, like an iceberg this is basically 
uh, so please and the metaphor is a butterfly of panic a butterfly of panic means some words which you are using but you don't know that they are real like a butterfly of panic you have never heard of this but if you use this in your creative writing it'll be really good so these are some of the things you could use but now i'm going to tell you the five points which i was telling you guys about your creative writing the first point is compelling compelling is basically your creative writing should be good to read by the examiner I mean if i'm a examiner i should uh, be really your creative writing should be really good and i should like reading it it should not be boring if your creative writing is boring as examiner i will stop eat i will stop reading it so you have to make sure that your creative writing is compelling is really good for a examiner to read and it should be different it should not be same like others compelling writing is about expressing your thoughts using as few words as possible so if you are planning on writing a sentence with an opening that reads at the same time it is very important to note that think again your creative writing should not be boring to read so try using good words good vocabulary words so that your creative writing is really interesting and as examiner i like reading it so this is your first point you should always remember in your creative writing that your creative uh, your creative writing should be compelling second is your language devices so some of you must be thinking what do you mean by language devices language devices is that you should be using these words in your creative writing your creative writing should have lot of adjectives in it lot of adverbs similes metaphors and personifications so your creative writing should have all these things and if you can look at the picture what does that picture tell you the picture tells you that you should be using your five senses in your creative writing this is something very important we keep telling each one of you that you should use your five senses in your creative writing and if you don't use your five senses five senses are if you have joined me can you tell me what are these five senses what we always tell you guys to use so language devices are like you should be using all these and adjectives should all these devices should be related to your five senses so try using your five senses in your creative writing if you use your five senses in your creative writing it'll be very good i'm just asking you guys what are your five senses and i think so some of you are writing it down smell hear good feel taste so these are your five senses which you should always try to use in your creative writing so let's look at this one improve see like if i say that i see sand castles if i just write this it will be a simple sentence and that won't be something as examiner i would be looking for i see a sand castles instead of writing that if i if i use adjective in it and i say it i see a sand castle and a cracky rocks so that makes more sense let our this thing speak for you guys I today i see sand castles two i see sand castles and cracky rocks adjective three i see sand castles tumbling down over craggy rocks interesting verb four i see sand castles tumbling down like a stack of cards simile so if you look at this one this is what we have improved it so which one you think is better if you try using the ones what we have told you that would make more sense and your creative writing would be standing out from others so just don't try using words like like i see can i see sand castle that word on its own doesn't make so much of sense it does make sense but is a common word that everybody else would be using it so you want to be different from others so if you want to be different from others you would be using something absolutely different 
so try using adjectives try using your interesting verbs or your similes and see that you think the fourth one is better yes i also think the fourth one is better because it has everything in it so let's read the fourth one again and see why it's it better sand castles tumbling down like a stack of cards simile this one is interesting because it has what we were saying something really really interesting for you guys so improve you can improve by your ad, adding adverbs in it adding adjectives in it similes in, in its metaphors in is the people the sea extensions the sand the sun bath so now i have a image for you if you guys can see it you can use a scene using ambitious vocabulary have you guys heard of the word ambitious vocabulary just want to ask that before have you guys heard of the word ambitious vocabulary the vocabulary is something to use new new words every day but as because you all are just 9 10 or 11 years old you don't know that what is ambitious vocabulary ambitious vocabulary is i'll give you an example and then i'll come back to the picture and you can use some of the ambitious vocabulary in your creative writing ambitious vocabulary is like if you type in in google you will just write ambitious vocabulary for sad as a norm, normal use word you would be just using the word sad but i want you to use your ambitious vocabulary so using ambitious vocabulary you will be using words which are uh, which are new words like which are different words of sad like i won't say sad instead of saying sad because sad is something everybody else would be using the word sad so you should be using some new words for sad and that words are called your ambitious vocabulary so let's read some ambitious vocabulary words and see if you guys Sorrowful, use them miserable downhearted happy cheerful delighted helpful cheery sorrow heartbroken grief anguish so instead of using sad i would be using new words for sad instead of sad i will be using miserable or instead of happy i would be using cheerful and instead of sorrow i would be using heartbroken so let me go back to the picture now and looking at the picture you can see that everybody is just enjoying the hot weather this is must be what's happening today so everybody is using the hot weather uh, everybody is enjoying the hot weather basically and this is a bit of describes how many people are sitting there so how would i use my ambitious vocabulary to describe this picture remember don't use basic words what are the basic words what we always use is if i see the scene uh, this if i was supposed to describe the scenery i would say that i saw a lot of people sitting near the a uh, lot of people enjoying the sun having sun bath something like that but if i use my ambitious vocabulary i will be using some new words so can you all if if you have joined me just try using some new words for describing this picture don't try using the same words what you guys always use so what words would you use remember as i told you that ambitious vocabulary is basically using different words for sad happy sorrow not using the same words we are not using the same words but we are using different words so can you just write down some words for me some sentences let me see what sentences you you all can write to describe this picture and then i might also write some for you all and see which one is better word Ah, uh, thanks. So you guys are writing. Okay, I'll wait for you all to write it down. Uh, 
okay let's take this one good the majestic ocean float in the cheerful wind shiny with bright sunlight like the sun was shining with bright sunlight like a beautiful sunny saturday at the beach and there's another one tan body stretch as far as the eye could see not a single her face was seen good so you all know how to use it or another one i'm just using here text box and always remember your capital letters everything what are you writing the sun was shining sunlight so i have written the sun was shining with the bright sunlight so this is like something which i have used another one you guys are using a lot of them the beach was overflooded with excited children and delighted adults all there there to bathe in the blending sun and the salty sea water as a good one so these are some of the things what you guys have written so you know now how to use ambitious vocabulary to describe this picture and another thing what this is some examples how you could describe write two paragraphs describing a beach scene make sure you use all these senses the beach is full of all around there are so you could start your sentences with these things when you're describing a beach or you're describing something around So things to include in your creative writing there are some things which i made a list you should try using that in your creative writing i'll just put one another one has written here that's a good one the sun was sizzling giving everyone sun tans so now another thing what i'm going to tell you guys is things to include in your creative writing use of sight use of sound use of smell use of taste use of touch use of describing words use of adverbs use of interesting verbs use of simile use of metaphor so these are the things you all should try including in your creative writing if your creative writing don't have these things your creative writing won't stand out so stand out means that your creative writing should be different from others it should not be same like what everybody else is writing so if i was describing that picture describing that scene i won't say a picture if i was describing the scene i'll just go back to that you should use the words which are not commonly used and don't try to make your creative writing so big that it's so boring as a examiner or as a reader i will get really bored and i won't know what you are writing so you have to be really really creative when you writing your creative writing so these are some of the things you should always try including in your creative writing and this is something which i want to tell you all is punctuation so if i say you all to use good punctuation in your creative writing all of you just try using full stops and semi uh, semicolons just don't try using these you have to use other things don't also don't use full stop and semicolon try to use brackets speech marks there are 14 punctuation mark names that are commonly used in english for children to learn and understand in primary education they are the period question mark exclamation point comma semicolon colon dash hyphen parentheses brackets braces apostrophe quotation marks and ellipsis 
so try using all of them in your creative writing you have to use all of them you don't have to just try using some of them if you can't use all of them just don't try using semicolons and full stops this is what i have always seen uh, children giving creative writing have used so try using the others also so what are brackets somebody asked that brackets is if you give extra information so search on the internet if you don't know what these are the best way is to search in the internet and see how are these used and how you could use them in your creative writing and remember if you are using punctuations and full stop in one of your paragraph try using something different in the other paragraph so try using different different things in each paragraph if you are using yeah that's brackets so if you are using try if you are using like i'll just tell you a example in your creative writing in one paragraph if you are using vocabulary words and uh, you are using lot of adjectives and adverbs in your other paragraph try using speech marks brackets and other things also so all your creative writing should have all these things a mixture of all these things which as a examiner should like reading i'll give you some examples also how to use them so let's think about the paragraphs what i was telling you don't try to write big paragraphs in creative writing if you are writing similes and metaphors in one try to use vocabulary or brackets or hyphen in the other try to write at least 3 paragraphs beginning middle and end this is something which is very very important when you start your creative writing when you have if you have to write a creative writing in your 11 plus just don't keep writing paragraphs after paragraphs like 4 5 paragraphs just stick into 3 paragraphs so that as examiner it's easy to read your paragraphs should have beginning middle and end your beginning should be the one in which if for example you have to describe the scene your first paragraph should be of describing a scene your second paragraph should be the one which is called the main paragraph your second one is the main one in the second one if you have some suspense or something you write in that one and your third one is always a happy ending or to be continued so your third one should be the one which you are supposed to end so i'll just show you example also how to do it and you tell me that how was this paragraph if you look at this creative writing what i have selected one it's a really good creative writing but you look at this creative writing this person had just written everything in one paragraph example 1 grew as fast as the flash on the abandoned rickety building because it had been desolated for over 400 years now hundreds of years ago it was a huge luxurious mansion the reason it was in this state is that once a careless maid was cooking who she accidentally hit the wood from the fireplace and since it was majorly wood that used for the interior it quickly caught the fire and converted that beautiful mansion into the ashes the legend says that her ghost haunts the place and she is set upon the place it says she left but people are still scared of the house this is because there was an obvious hole covered in moss rocks and murky water that smells like musty rancid and decaying flesh many brave people apparently ventured into the house but no one ever got out mainly because it's a labyrinth of darkness as there are as many windows as fingers on a man's right hand the stained glass is very dull so no light can go through it the rain is as heavy as waves and drops down like icy bullets many people have rumored to have seen zombies so in the last 300 years no one has touched it today after these many years a construction crew tried to destroy this manor but yet again an invisible force as strong as the hulk didn't let them even touch a brick so if you have seen this example 1 what do you think is the mistake this person has done in this example if you look at the example the person has just written one full paragraph she has the person has used good vocabulary words the person has used has described the place really well but everything is in one paragraph 
So what do you think the person could do to improve her creative writing? Any ideas? Bad punctuations. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's bad punctuations. She has put all the all the writing in one big block of text. Yes, she has done that. And if you look at that, everything is sp split into paragraphs. So you have to put into paragraphs because it's a good creative writing. As you said that the vocabulary is really good in this. It should have more paragraphs and it should also, if you look at that, she has used, if I underline, let me just take a uh, if you look at this one, meds grow as fast as the flash on the amended. This is a good one. This paragraph, hundreds of years ago, it was a huge luxurious mention. So she did try using some of the adjectives. But if you look at that, using some, uh, yeah. So she has not used them. And if you look at that, everything is in one paragraph. So you should have, she should have used at least. And she should have, let's see if I can use any packets in that. I'm going to grow the fast flash on the Ramadan. No, I can't. The reason was stated that the KLS minus was cooking should accidentally hit the wood from the fireplace. And since it was majority wood, she literally caught the fire and converted that beautiful mention into the ashes. So she has not used any of the metaphors. She has also not used, if you look at that, she could use ambitious vocabulary in this because instead of using words like, I'll tell you the words which are commonly used, majority, it was majority word that used for the interior. She could have used something little better than that and she could have used more paragraphs and in this she didn't even use any of the speech marks. She didn't even describe any of the things what they are mentioning and in with this we can't even come to know what the topic is. So it's too much information in one paragraph. Yes, you're right. It's too much information is given to you all in one paragraph. So she should improve her paragraph. Let's see the second example now. So look at this example now. Let's let this person read for us. Example two. So if you look at example two, in this also, if you guys can read for a minute, visiting Victoria is a wonderful experience because you can see both historical buildings and beautiful nature. The city is surrounded on three sides by the Pacific Ocean. So it has many protected harbors, bays and fascinating beaches. Many postcards from Victoria show the busy inner harbor in the city of town from the tourist office at one hand end of the harbor you can go down to the hallway and look at the beautiful sea boats sea boats mold at the small wooden waves on straight way on the walkway leads to the impressive wayne covered impress hotel another stairways at the star uh, uh, Stairway at the far end of the walkway leads to the Victoria style parliament building from their central lo location. So you can continue your walk through the pretty historic neighborhood of James Bay. This can then you can enjoy a sl slow walk among the colorful gardens in Bacon Hill Park as you can make your way to the long stretches or breaches of the Pacific Ocean. This combination of interesting architecture and scenic nature makes a visit to Victoria a satisfying experience. So if you look at this one, you cannot see properly. Let me just zoom in a little bit. 
Can you see the writing now? I was also unable to read because some of the writing is really bad. So if in this one, if you see that the topic sentence, the supporting sentence, so it's really bad. And the way the person has written this one is also really bad. If you look at the one they have used, they could have used more vocabulary words in this one you can see it now i hope you all can see it now so if you look at this one the person has not used good vocabulary in this one instead of wonderful experience she could have this person could have used something else the city is surrounded on the three sides it looks so confusing we don't know what the person wants to say and what the person wants to write because it doesn't make sense at all. You can see it. That's good. So this person has not used any of the things what we want this person to use. So this person, let me go back. What are we looking for? I just need to zoom out a little bit. What are we looking in paragraph? In the creative writing, what are we guys looking for? So these are the things we are looking for a creative writing. That's the worst creative writing I've ever seen. <laughs> I know. So this is something we are looking in a creative writing. I'll just find the meaning what you're asking. So these are the things. It's, it's a, so you're asking me what the meaning of this word is, is a plural noun, is a, basically a, have you seen a duck or a peer? It's basically, if you go and you see it, I'll tell you what it is, because we have used a dictionary to use it. So that's the meaning of the word. What are you asking me? Wharves is basically a pier, key, dock, and berth. So that's the meaning of the word. What are you asking me? So remember to use all these words when you're using. Uh, try using all these in your creative writing use of sight use of sound use of smell use of taste use of touch and the main thing is your paragraph so we have used this one we did the first example the second example was the worst one so now i'm going to tell you the topics for creative writing this is the topic which is normally comes in your 11 plus wait let me just tell you my first day in secondary school got i n this you need to describe about your experience it could be good or bad you could start with i was so excited yet so terrified at the thought of my first day in my first day in secondary school was amazing when i arrived at everyone's eyes were on me school everyone's eyes were on me so this is one of the topics i have taken for our 11 uh, our partner books for creative writing so this is some of this it is the five senses yeah so this is some of the topics you guys 
could find is so this is some of your main topics which normally comes a uh, first day in secondary school in this you need to describe about your experience it could be good or bad you could start with i was so excited yet so terrified at the thought of my first day in my first day in secondary school was amazing when i arrived at the school everyone eyes were on me so this is the topics you could get in your creative writing and in super selective schools the creative writing what they give you is they give you a comprehension you have to read the comprehension really well and after reading the comprehension you have a comprehension questions and then the next thing they ask you is after that continue uh, the comprehension in your creative writing like if the comprehension tells you about something or something it tells you about about a story that a boy is lost or the boy has been found or they would tell you that continue with the with the comprehend with the creative writing so you have to continue the creative writing so this is something you could get in your 11 plus and this is one of the examples i have given you for credit this is the worst one i will also not write something like that this one was really good and remember what points we discussed let me go back to the picture for you guys and see if you guys remember what i have told you the five things you have to think i'm just going back to the picture for you all here is your picture so remember if this is your picture you have to think there are five things in your creative writing you have to remember first is compelling second is your ambitious vocabulary third is the uh, the way you use your vocabulary writing is very clear and neat yes i'm i'm you're absolutely right and again you have to think about the paragraphs so you have to think about the paragraphs also don't try writing big 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 paragraphs you have to make your paragraphs as small as possible try limiting your paragraphs to 3 don't try taking more than 3 paragraphs in your creative writing and if you have to describe a scene or something just don't stick to the basic things what you could see in the scene you could see people i know all of you can see that you need to up level a few words yeah that's there you have to use that's why i'm saying ambitious learning words are the ones are we writing about the picture on the screen yes you are this is basically i want you guys to describe this picture for me and write it down and i'll be giving you guys a competition for this so you have to describe in this picture in three paragraphs and you have to stick to the three paragraphs and you have to stick into using everything your punctuations don't just try using the punctuations i have told you full stops and semicolon that's the main one i've seen all of you using that try using something different and it also tells you the way it starts if you look at this one it tells you examples about how it starts oh sorry example how to start his here the beach is full of or all around there are so you could start your paragraphs 
like this right two paragraphs describing a beach scene make sure you use all these senses so this is something do you want to start doing in the chat or you could write it down and just email me your creative writing i'll give the email address of our group oh sorry i forgot to write gmail properly i'll write it again i just forgot to write the email yeah that's the email address you all can describe on that you could write your creative writing and email on that email address and starting with some of your ideas let's see how what your ideas are yes you sent to that email and if you want to start telling me some of the your ideas so that you all can know what your ideas are so let's see some of the ideas what you guys can give me now it went away you okay i'll keep it up is it better that's the email address you're giving me the email and the person who gets the writes really good email uh, sorry really good creative writing would your creative writing will be displayed in 11 plus alt group and i'll make sure your creative writing is i will pin your creative writing on the top of the group of 11 plus alt group your creative writing would be there for all the members to have a look and see how good you guys are and remember that we have around 7.7k members in 11 plus alt group and I, i will also put your creative writing in amish's learning tuition page facebook page and that group has around 2.3k members so your creative writing would stand out in all these places oh you want me to again get it so that's what your creative writing would stand off for and if you are just take a screenshot of this picture of this scene or if you have not taken it don't worry about that okay i'll tell you some ideas because everybody is saying tell us some ideas it's a group of whatsapp or facebook that's our facebook group it's it's 11 plus that's a facebook group so if you want me some if uh, you want some ideas because everybody's writing can you where do we write you write in a piece of paper and you email me on this email address is on the screen here so if you remember the five things what do you guys what are the five points we discussed let me see who remembers let me stop sharing the screen with you all and let me come back to you all or you want a little break to come back i want you all to remember the five points what i've told you today and write on the c uh, on the on the chat and see which one of you write it fast till we come back in a break Okay guys let's see how clever you are 
I need all five. Let's see who can tell me all five what we discussed today. I'll put I'll put your answers on the screen. Let's see your chats will come on the site now. Let's put your chats on the site now. So if you're writing your comments, you will come here. Let me remove my logo and see how clever you all are. Okay. Side is good. Hair is good. Smell is good. Another one. Keep going. Let's see who does all of them. It's coming on the screen. All of, all of your messages coming on the screen on this side if you see it. Punctuation, vocabulary, five senses, language, devices, good. Keep going. Let's see who writes all of them. Vocabulary, yes, you wrote that. Another one. You guys are so clever, aren't you? Language devices. Touch. That's what she said. Oh, remember, you you can't be rude to each other. Your messages messages are coming on the screen now. So we all need to be nice to each other. Remember. If you remember anything else, keep writing it. It's coming on the screen. Okay, let's take the screen out now. Well done, guys. All of you have... Oh, you were still writing it. I thought you guys are done. So, if you, you want your to be displayed again, okay. Interesting verbs, interesting adjectives, paragraphs, talk. Please read mine. It's it's on the screen. I'm not reading anyone's. It's just coming on the screen. So you all can see your message is coming on the screen. Wherever you write, it's displayed on the side. You can see that now. So all your messages are coming here. If you could see your messages, they're all on the screen. Speech marks, good. Interesting words. Bubble nouns and lots of pronouns, adverbs. Metaphor spellings are wrong. That's fine, you have still written it. That's good. Do you guys want me to stop now? I've, all your messages were there now. Don't use semicolon. You, I'm not, I never said don't use. I said if you're using them, try using uh, brackets and speech marks in your other ones. Because you need to make your paragraphs. Oh, sorry, something. We can't see you. Sorry, something went wrong. Can you hear me now? 
something went wrong with I think so something went wrong. Sorry about that. You can hear me now. What? 